Hey everybody, Life Tree New Good, this is Beat for One Beat Games, and welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All for the Nintendo DS. Last time we went ahead and, uh, actually, you know what? I don't even remember what we did last time. Uh, that's right. Last time we talked to Max and we, uh, we got him to give us the location of where Trilo was, and we gave Trilo back to Mr. Benjamin Woodman, and we found out. Who Trilo really was. An asshole. <laughs> Practically. He's just a rude little puppet. Who's in love with... Freaking... Uh... Regina. And apparently Regina kind of likes him too. Which is weird. Because it's a puppet. It's a puppet. But that kind of means that Benjamin's into her too, right? Because... Benjamin's controlling said puppet and stuff. Anyway, I'm getting... I'm thinking way too into this. Let's just get back into a game. And this damn clown. I forgot we also talked to this clown. And also, one second. Alright, sorry about that. Uh... Oh, that's right. We gotta talk to him about this. Go. Okay, I'm sorry. I I do not like his music. It's just too loud. Too loud. I could barely hear myself think with that music. And that may be a sign. That, no, because it's coming from the th blah. December twenty eighth, lodging hall, third floor, Ac Acro's room. <sighs> this is it. What's wrong, Mister Wright? I can't. Breathe! Don't be such a wimp! You only had to climb two flights of stairs! <sighs> That's more than I've done in a whole lifetime! Anyways, this is the place! Acro's room! Acro? He's an acrobat! It seems like he's not around today! Huh? That's a big pile of junk over in the corner! I don't think he'll be around there soon that Phoenix's stuff is over there too! Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff! Thanks, Mo! See you later! Why, why did the monkey get added to court? Okay. Okay, back. Now, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden the music's just louder. Like, the music from O was so unnecessarily loud. I don't like that. But, that's just a little gripe. I don't know why it's so much louder than everything else. Hey, the net's ripped. Money must be prone to breaking things. He's hardcore. Um... And that looks fine to me. You really think that he plays basketball? I think so. Monkey said life about the rim, you know. You're joking, right? You think the monkey has got? You think the monkey has got proverb proverbial game? Of course. The monkey doesn't think the funk on a nasty dunk. What? Hey, those bars, though. I'm not gonna lie. Well, a prehensile tail might be an unfair advantage. <laughs> you think? Also, Maya's got some bars. Hee <laughs> it's a monkey calendar! Whoever's in this room must really love monkeys. Maybe a little too much. Wow, I just realized that the year is almost over. Amazing how time flies. It's been one wild year, especially the last part. Well, we still got one last person to help this year. Max! Yeah, not nah, wrong, 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 up, about, da, 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 da. This bed is incredibly well made. It's almost like a maid made it up. Even the laundry on top of the bed is folded perfectly. Yeah, there's nothing unusual about that at all. That's how things are supposed to be. Can't a man respect another man for doing something said man can't do? I think I read that wrong. For something said man can't do. As in us? Hmm. He's got a barbell. Look around. Everything he's got is for upper body training. Wait a second. These are the same machines I see on TV all the time. Hey, Nick! What? I don't have this one. This barbell here, this barbell here is a new model. Don't overdo it, Maya. You don't want to end up a muscle woman. Why not? You, see, you act like it's a bad thing. Come on, man. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. There's even a really cheap-looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this. It's a trophy. 
and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it! Your bitch! It's right here! Oh, finally. Thanks! You really saved me! Huh? Wait. Why is it over here? Why is Can we move? Okay. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah. Check this out. It's a ring! There's something engraved on it. From T to R. From Trilo to Regina. From Trilo to Regina. Okay. That's not good. Poor Max. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. To be December 29th, 943 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 5. If you hear stuff in the background, once again, just like last time, my family is back. <laughs> Good morning, Max. <laughs> Max? Me milk! What? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. Stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick! Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties! But what? You don't think I should fly, do you? Huh? You know, you've got to make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. No, 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 no. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, right click. Oh, sweetie. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I can see it now. The dashing one young lawyer flying fabulously in from above. One glimpse of that, and everyone in the room will be on your side. Max, really? No one needs to fly today. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Ooh! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> December 29th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Around the curtain! What? Oh, mmm. No. What just happened? I wasn't ready. Redo! Okay, let's try that again. I don't know what just happened, but I'm pretty sure I didn't skip anything. So let's try that one more time. And now the case of one... What?! I don't get this. Why did it skip? I didn't... I didn't do any... I don't... Okay. Here, Hannah. Get on with it! Oh, sorry. I just realized that the defendant's name is Big Bob Trons. <laughs> so, well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, Your Honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a huge fan of his. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more... friendly. Uh, I wonder if that is to our advantage. Miss Karma, your opening statement, if you, if you please. Also, I didn't mean to say, huh? I should say, hmm. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Eh? Yeah? That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. Of course. It did not count. Do you hear me? She must still be upset about what happened last time. You better not whip me into. You better not whip the crap out of me. To the point in which I pass out again, because I will come after you. Don't try me. Don't try me, B. 
You have no chance. Zero. Silch. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why? You ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose at anything. Even though you lost the last case. I guess being born with the Von Karma name is a free pass to be ar arrogant and annoying. What you learned, Mr. Phoenix, right? I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Remember me? Guilty? What are you talking about? It will be my ultimate revenge. Her dad is gone, you know. The prosecution is finished. Let's hurry and wrap up this waste of time. Yeah. And I'll beat your ass, too. You may call your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Detective did come true. Get up there. Now! All the time. Can this man catch a break? Get someone else to be in this place. Man, you don't even care about him and his work. Shut up. Don't apologize. Shut up. Don't mention it. No not trouble at all, pal. I've been looking forward to this. Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. Alright, detective. You may proceed with your testimony. Thanks, pal. I kind of forgot about the voice, pal. The night of the crime. Snow was falling until 9.40 p.m. Making it extremely cold out, pal. All of the circus performers gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place at a plaza in front of the Halton Logic House at 10.15 p.m., pal. The victim was found bent over a wooden box dead as a door now. <gasps> Excuse me, sorry. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. Ah. Yikes. Oh, we don't even have the freaking... We don't have the autopsy report, so how are we supposed to know that? This man didn't give us anything. I see. He was beaten to death. Here's the autopsy report for the victim, pal. That I forgot to give you, pal. The court accepts us into evidence. Freaking finally. Oh, dope, dope. dope. Blood force trauma to the back of the head. 10 p. 10 15 p.m. A cheap ring with an eerie sparkle from T to R is engraved on it, and money to monkey. A monkey who takes care of Acro habitually gathers all sorts of shiny objects. A blunt object. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin to cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. This is starting to strange. Is starting to strangely sound like another case from the first game. And I had a crime snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the night of, until the time of the crime, pal. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground, pal. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm, the snow. Let me see. There's gotta be more to this. Eh, what's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? Wait, wait, wait. Then why were their foot... Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me go back through that one more time. Just one more time. Are you for real? Okay, look. Okay, look. Okay, look. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are all the evidence in the statement that's not related? They aren't, are they? Blah, 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 Shut up, Judge! Shut up, Judge! Shut up, Judge! Okay, look. I'm going to save, because I know I'm going to make another mistake. I don't even know why I made that... I don't even know why I made that mistake, first off. I thought I was right. Obviously, I'm not. She said something about checking the freaking court record, so I was like, okay. Crime photo. Yeah. One more time. Because I'm stupid. 
Yeah, so I did. What about the snow? What about the snow? Are you talking about the hat? I don't... Okay, look, we're gonna come back to that, because I'm stupid. All the circus performers got it, blah, blah, blah. When you say all the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and the staff were there. Regina the Animal Tamer, Moda Clown, Ben the Patrolquist, and of course, the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the Ringmaster Pal. Oh, I almost forgot, Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Detective, you <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Detective, you are welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. Well, there goes the wristwatch. After the practice is over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with Regent while Mo went back to his room tired from work, pal. Ben the Ventriloquist went to the front gate absorbed in his own world. The Ringmaster and Max went off to the Ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? It seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage! I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15pm. Uh, um, okay. Not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us how the whole thing went down. Ow! This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Mm, Alright. We'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Dr. Gumshoe. Do you mind telling us how the victim met his end? That's bullcrap, but alright. Stupid bunk karma. A wooden box. That's right. Meow, that's right! The victim was the victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed, pal. Carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, your honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked, pal. Walked, you say? Well, okay. It's a good thing I did that. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. Well... Wait. I'm pretty sure we could keep coming back to this, so... This wooden box. You figure it weighs about 20 pounds, right? Sounds about right. The whole thing is lined with iron, pal. Iron plating. Why do you think it's lined with iron? I figured they just did it to make the box up. Ah! I think we could all do without your guesses, Detective. Stick to what little you actually know. Sorry. Suffice it to say, the box is really heavy. Much better. You may continue on, Detective. Man, screw off. I don't like Von Karma. She's annoying. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like her, but she's very annoying. You said the box was locked. How exactly was it locked? Well, it had quite a sturdy lock on it. It took quite a bit to open that bad boy up. So, when you found the box, it was locked, correct? Yes, it was. Some of the forensics teams took it back to the precinct to crack it open. I see. Good to the detective go through. And one more time. Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than, a, than Fort Knox. Bars, if I didn't mess that up. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. A bottle? What is that, Detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. What's inside the bottle? It's filled with... Pepper. Pepper. Why in the world was it locked in that box? There's only one little bottle in that huge box? I wonder if there's some sort of special meaning. Huh. Well, okay. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. 
My theory, my theory is that, it, is that it's something that the perpetrator went and ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, no, no. I bet you made it disappear with magic. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean all we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Now that we have wrapped up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Eh? I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously. But that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. Now, see, the thing is... Why did he... He said something about the snow, and then I did this. Because I thought that was right. Obviously that was wrong. So, what is he talking about? He was talking about checking the court record again with the snow. I don't... I swear, I hope I didn't miss something. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You messed stuff down. Miss Von Carmel, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Whitman to the stand. She must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. Who else's name is Benjamin Woodman Phoenix? Come on. I wonder if Trilo will show up on the stand as well. Most likely. Which is gonna- Yup! <laughs> Please state your name and occupation for the record. Oh, uh, okay. I forgot his voice. Uh... My full name is Triloquist! No. My full name is Triloquist! I'm an employed... I'm an employed... as an opera tenor! Excuse me? The winner's call to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, for Trollquist. That rope of the current African circulation! I said that I was a singer! Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with a song. <clears throat> me, 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 me! The world of the law! Exciting and daring! Guilt or innocence! Decided by a judge just like a, like a, just up like a woman. Well, what do you think? They had a good rhythm. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. To Trilo, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up! Just look at your nose! We would think you would have had the sense to fix it! It's so ugly I want to put you in the face off and on the off chest swelling would help! You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star? Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their minds. What's going on here? Order! Order! I demand to know who the witness is! Don't... don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trilo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting testimony like- Ow! You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed. Well, okay. Sure. Lunch practice is over. I have to type with the stooge. I mean, clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went over to the plaza. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the only one heading that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene. You're sure of that? And I forgot a voice. Without a doubt, he had on a silk hat, cloak, and a damn right white rose on his chest. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? Blech. Well, that's enough. I think we all get the picture. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. Well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean that the clown committed a crime? Hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the criminal. What's that? Here's absolute proof. Uh, so her. This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Ah. Uh. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, then there would be no reason for the hat to be at the scene. Unless he was framing him, think about it, you idiot! Ah! Hmm. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Your prosecutor prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. No, they aren't! He could have placed us on the scene of the crime, you idiot! You stupid idiot! The judge is as stupid as her. Actually, no, she's just doing this on purpose. I've been. Oh my god. Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Okay, I guess she's the boss again today. To be honest, anyone could have placed that at the scene of crime. They need to think before they start talking, I swear to God. Anyway, because if the judge continues down this path, he's literally letting everyone just run him over. The only person who has not run him over, I think, was Edgeworth. Everyone else that we've gone against has run him over. Actually, no. Because it was Edgeworth and, uh... 
the trial boy. I don't remember what his name was. The dude, the the trial guy who's always on prosecution. Whatever the hell his name was. I don't. That's how forgettable he is. I don't remember him. I just remember him as trial boy. That's really bad. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Uh, when we come back, we'll go ahead and continue the trial and try to stick. Uh, We'll try to shut down Von Karma and everything that she's trying to do because she is wrong. And I'm starting to get mad to not exactly like her as much, but that's okay. She's the antagonist. You're supposed to not like the antagonist. They're doing a good job of making me hate the antagonist, even though I still like her. Kinda. I don't know. Anyways. Thank you for thank you so much for watching. Uh, have yourselves a fantastic day, night, evening, whenever time you're watching this. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.